welcome back to Canal Lanes for the quarterfinal match of this WNECA event. This one is going to feature Aaron Spiller, who just won a, uh, an exciting match against Brian Mayer, and he'll be against uh, Rich Bober, who was the third seed in the, uh, in the qualifying. So let's see how Aaron can uh, come off the the follow up the match against uh, Brian Mayer, which he won 148 to 147. And Rich Bober starts off with an 8 drop, leaving a 610. And Aaron drops 5, leaving the 4 horsemen left plus the 9, otherwise known as the notorious Kaliri. And Rich Bober makes the spare, aided by some wood in front of the 610. So he gets off to a quick start. And Aaron Spiller will take a 9 in the first box. Rich Bober, uh, as, as with Brian Mayer, was also uh, in the World's Invitational Team Tournament last November in Bangor, Maine. And he drops eight on the spare. And meanwhile, Aaron Spiller also drops eight. Aaron has a 6-10 with a plank in front of it. Should be no problem. And Rich has a 3-6 with no wood. But he hits it nicely. So matching spares in the second box. Rich Bober has 28 with a ball working. And Aaron Spiller has 19 with a ball working as they start the third frame. And there is a strike by Rich Bober. Let's take another look at it. You can see that he hits the 1-3 pocket, gets a lot of action off the sidewall, and then a little jump on the end. He can, uh, Rich can jump over the Sunday paper pretty easily. And that's a strike in the third. Aaron Spiller drops 5, giving him 24 through 2. Aaron, I think, is a rookie on the WNECA Tour this year, and he's uh, shown himself to be a, a very good bowler in his uh, opening season on tour. He uh, puts an 8 on the board, so it's he's got 32. Another 3. Rich Bober working on a strike. And he misses the head pin by quite a bit, but gets a pretty good break out of it, leaving a 1, 9, 10, with a piece of wood that might help him make the spare. It's, uh, if he can hit the head pin, he's got a pretty good chance to make this one. But he's got to hit the head pin. And he misses it. So it's an 8 on the strike, and he's got 56 through 3. Meanwhile, Aaron had 7, and he wasn't able to hit the object pin on that spare attempt either. So it's going to be matching eight boxes in the fourth, and Rich Bober is out to a 24 pin lead, 64 to 40. And Rich hits the head pin, light on the one two pocket side, and drops eight, leaving a three seven with some wood that looks pretty good. Aaron drops six. Looks like this wood might go into the seven. And, well, that was uh, probably not how Rich intended to play it, but it went down. He, he uh, went way over on the right side of the three pin and kicked it over into the seven, or kicked some wood into the seven. In any case, it's a spare for Rich Bower. And after five boxes, he leads 74 with a ball working to Aaron Spiller's 49. So Aaron, Aaron, uh, as you remember from the match against Brian Mayer, was in a pretty deep hole, but then uh, came back with a double strike in the ninth and tenth frame. So obviously, he's uh, he's pretty dangerous. There's no such thing as a safe lead with him. So I'm sure Rich is not going to be taking him lightly. And and Rich drops eight. So he's got 82 through five. Rich is a very explosive bowler. 
Uh, he's he's done uh, very. He's another one that's uh, pretty much the uh, Western New England tour is is kind of an automatic paycheck for him. He just shows up and picks up his money. He's uh, like clockwork. He's done. He, I think I'm not sure how many tournaments he's won, but he's cashed many, many times, and and he's won a few events out here. Rich is a very consistent bowler, and and uh, he can be very explosive too. Aaron Spiller left a three-four split with a piece of wood, and he really needs to. He needs marks at this point, so he tried to to carve it over there. Couldn't quite do it. Rich Bober punched out a half Worcester on the spare. And Aaron Spiller takes a nine. And Rich with an eight box. So through seven, Rich Bober has 102, Aaron Spiller 67. Aaron hits the object pin, but he leaves a really tough split. That's the three, four, seven, eight, ten. And a piece of wood, but it's not going to help him too much, probably. It's a really tough split. And Rich Bober, meanwhile, also has a split, but it's maybe not quite as difficult. And Aaron, again, hits the object pin, but just punches it straight back. And Rich almost uh, got a backdoor spare there, but not quite. Aaron takes an 8. And Rich takes a 10. So through 8, Rich Bober has 112. Aaron Spiller has 75. The winner of this match will be taking on Gary Santora in the semifinals. And it looks like it's going to be Rich Bober doing that because he just drops a hammer in the ninth. Let's take another look. Solid in the 1 2 pocket. And what more to say? 10 pins on the deck. Nice ball by Rich Bober. Aaron Spiller with an open in the ninth. Takes a 10. So Rich is going to be moving on to, to bowl against Gary Santora. And Aaron Spiller will record a fourth place finish. Pretty good bowling today. And uh, pretty good bowling all year by Aaron. He's had, had a couple other good finishes. Rich Bober almost doubles up that strike. And there's a fantastic spare by Aaron Spiller. Let's take a, take a look at the replay. That nine pin tries to stay up but a piece of flying wood takes it out. So he'll have a spare in the 10th, and Rich Bober has the 4-pin with a piece of wood in front of it, and he knocks that off. So Rich has Rich Bober has 142 with one ball to roll, and Aaron Spiller with 95 and a ball. And he adds uh, 6 on that, so Aaron Spiller with 101. And Rich has nine, so the final score is Bober 151, Spiller 101.